Hi, everyone. My name is Soleil, and we are now on episode two of my brand new YouTube channel. The topic I want to talk about today is what I call alchemy. So there is a lot of different definitions of this term. There's a lot of different ways of looking at it. But when we are looking at it from the angle of the spiritual path or from self-mastery, to me, it is the transformation ultimately of the self, that we are transforming our inner states and our, you know, not ourselves parts and the ways that we move in the world that do not benefit or feed our highest self. And so there's a lot of this that happens right on the spiritual path. In fact, I would argue that a probably majority portion of what we're doing on the spiritual path is sort of unlearning who we are not and coming back to and returning home to who we really are. And so then that would say then that a lot of life is kind of like you're building your character, so to speak, in the younger years of your life, you're constructing yourself as like a, you know, operable member of society. And then you sort of reach a point which you might call your awakening where things don't seem to kind of add up. The math doesn't quite math. It's like you're kind of realize that you're sort of living in this matrix like structure. And what that does is then points you back towards yourself. Well, then if that's not real, or if there's an illusionary world that we live in, then who am I really? And where do I fit into this whole thing? And what role do I play in creating a new world? And so that to me is kind of the fundamental question of what you might consider an awakening or an ego death or whatever, you know, whatever you call it on your path. And from there, you kind of turn yourself around. It's almost like you then start to reverse engineer yourself back to who you've always been, ultimately, the pieces of you that have lived inside of you that have been maybe frozen or quieted or blocked or whatever, what have you, through life experiences, through a society that doesn't necessarily teach you this kind of thing in school. And then the work is to become yourself become who you've always been, which is then, you know, taking off the layers and taking off the different, you know, facades and characters and personas that aren't who you actually are. And to me, that is the practice of alchemy, because it is more so than anything energetic. Now, of course, there's physical ch changes that happen on that path, you will notice that there's, you know, things that actually physically change in your body. But more so than anything, you know, you're changing internally, you're shifting your how you operate in the world, you're noticing your inner space a lot more, you become conscious of yourself in a way that is using the world as a mirror than to understand your path and to give you clues into where you're headed and what's going on. And, you know, there's like this, you're like kind of in this divine conversation with whatever you want to call it, God, the universe, the higher power, you know, the natural world is like available to you and arrows pointing you towards the confirmation of essentially what you already know and who you already are, but it takes time. Right. And there's a lot of permission. There's a lot of grace that you have to give yourself to let go of and undo, so to speak, the pieces of you that aren't really who you are, or maybe just were kind of part of your persona or part of the structure that the matrix, so to speak, helped you create, um, that, that maybe even in some ways you had to abandon who you really are to fit into a mold that was never really you to begin with. So to me, that whole transformation that happens is alchemy. It's inner alchemy. The alchemist of this day and age is the one who does this work on themselves. And then once you really understand it for yourself, you know, you can do it in real time and in the real world, you're available to the energies that are always present, the energies of the people around you, of your spaces, of your environments, and you are essentially kind of raising the average of vib vibration of humanity, you're clearing out the kind of non-truths energetically that exist, that kind of tension of non-truth. And then you're replacing it with higher vibrational energies and you master this with yourself. So, you know, the idea then is to use everything that life gives you, every opportunity, every experience, every environment, every interaction, every relationship, everything to understand and to navigate your inner world in this way so that you too are constantly transforming yourself in the same way. So something happens in real time, you notice your visceral 
energetic, emotional response to it. And you sit with it. You help that be information for you to understand and to see yourself better. You know, I think what happens too often in the world that we live in is that people get that emotional, visceral response and then they project it out, right? So if somebody does something to you, that causes that kind of stir or activation within you. We call it being triggered, so to speak, you know, instead of like, oh, wow, this, what you just said, or what you've just done has really moved me. I'm going to take a minute and, and see why, what is this bringing up for me? Instead of that, most people, you know, project it out onto the person, onto the experience as they're the bad guy, they're wrong, you know, that anger, or frustration or whatever energy, whatever emotions come up from that, you know, catalyst, ultimately, they then project it onto the catalyst instead of using it as like a really rich and ripe opportunity to see and understand themselves. So when you are truly an alchemist in this work in the spiritual sense, it's recognizing what's coming up is mine, I might not agree with what's happening here, it doesn't mean that everything is right and good necessarily. But that whatever your whatever activation you're feeling, whatever emotional charge that you're feeling within yourself is yours to transform, you know, and in fact, if you're available to it enough, you can do that in just a moment of rec recognizing why well, I'm really angry. I have this surge of energy based on what's happening here. So instead of channeling it into like this person's bad, I'm mad at them, <laughs> like, let's take them down which maybe might be, you know, be necessary at times, but at other times, you know, maybe you're like, instead of like meeting them there, I'm going to just focus and channel my energy on building the new. I'm going to focus and channel my energy on the opposite on, on what I want to see versus what I don't want to see. So there's a lot of nuance. There's a lot of mastery. It's so much an individualized process, but it's powerful because you start to realize like the whole world, all the things that you attract and call into your experience are mirrors. They are walking mirrors and we don't always want to see them. And it's not always fun to accept and understand the world in this way because it's like exhausting at times when you have to see yourself so often, especially things that you don't love about yourself or you are still working through or what I like to call areas of growth. Um, but the truth of the matter is, you know, the true person who's really on the path of self-mastery is willing to use the world as their mirror. And just as much as there is the difficult things to see, there is equal, if not more, magic and absolutely divine, wonderful, you know, confirmational pieces and aspects of life that just blow your mind. Like when you're really on this path, when you really have your eye open, you see both sides, right? You see like the struggle and the challenge and the humanity and the hardship, but even more so almost. And even within that, you see the magic and just the mind blowing wonder of being alive. So when I talk about alchemy, when I talk about inner alchemy or being an alchemist, it is one who is available to that, right? And a lot of that is coming out of the mind because the mind is so ego based that it doesn't want you to come down from there. It wants to be right and it wants to be the good guy. And it wants to say, this is the bad guy and I'm good. And, you know, and that's, that's what the ego and that's what the mind does. So when you're able to come down from that space, you can be in the energy of things in a much, much different way, in a much more honest way. You can be in touch with reality in a much different way. So you're not sort of filtering what's happening through the, you know, filters and limitations of the mind, but rather you're actually available energetically to what's really happening um, in real time. And once you're there, you know, you can be present with the energies within you. You can be present with the energies in your space. You can run energy to things. If you see someone struggling, you know, for me, when, for example, when I see um, a homeless person, I, I re really try to just run my energy in that direction. You know, I feel like that's honestly the best thing that I can do is just send major massive love and elevation to any people I have to do that for myself at times you know when I'm like in a struggled place sometimes I have to kind of flip and reverse it so that I'm giving back to me you know we all need that kind of energy at different times and imagine if we moved around the world in such a way that we were trying to elevate and uplift and bloom our reality instead of tear down or tackle or make wrong or bad you know, and, and when we focus our energy then on the higher vibrational truths that are always possible and focus on transforming and transmuting from the lower vibrational spaces up to the higher, you know, we're, we're literally calling the world up. We're, we're asking the world, we're facilitating the rise of a new consciousness, a new way of being. So to me, that's the, the real foundation of 
being an alchemist of doing inner alchemy. I do want to talk about this a lot more, but I wanted to just make a short video of this because I talk about this subject a lot on my Twitter and I find that I get a lot of questions about this in particular. I think that a lot of people really resonate with the term alchemist or working alchemy. Um, and so I thought it would be helpful for us to really get clear on what we're talking about here. And, and also, you know, recommit to doing this work, recommit to seeing yourself in all things, recommit to being willing to be, you know, in the discomfort in moments so that you can transform it into more of who you are. Like it's all helping you. It's all asking for your evolution. The more willing you are to sit with all of the spectrum of the human experience, the more completely and fully you realize who you actually are. Thank you all for being here. Again, if you are enjoying this, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, do the things. And I really look forward to seeing you next time.